Shackleton's journey. In 1914, Ernest Shackleton and his crew set off to cross the Antarctic. Although they didn't realise it, they were going to make history. They set off from South Georgia on their ship, Endurance, on the 5th of December, 1914. Although in the beginning, the sea was clear, gradually it got more and more cold with icebergs floating past. Eventually, they reached the pack ice and the ship became stuck for nine months. They hoped that the coming summer weather would free the ship, but unluckily, over the winter, pr the pressure from the ice grew. Oh no! And eventually caused endurance to sink. We rescued as many things as possible from the ship. Help! They set up camp close by for a few weeks. They were entirely cut off from the world. Their only hope of rescue was Stromness Whaling Station on South Georgia. But to get there, they would need to trek across miles of pack ice, then sail the lifeboats across over 40 miles to reach Elephant Island. A further sea journey of 750 miles would bring them to South Georgia. It was a journey no human being had ever made before. Unfortunately, they had to leave almost everything they'd saved behind including Mrs. Chippy the ship's cat and all of the dogs. <coughs> Eventually, the men began the first stage of their epic journey to rescue. After a hard trek of seven miles in seven days, dragging the lifeboats with them, they set up a second camp. Once the ice began to melt and crack, they finally set sail in their lifeboats. The next phase began with the difficult sail to Elephant Island. This took 28 men, six days at sea, living in three cramped lifeboats. Once they arrived, they converted two of the three lifeboats into huts, leaving only the James Caird Seaworthy. Shackleton selected his five best men to go on the final leg of the mission, sailing across the treacherous Southern Ocean to South Georgia. They arrived exhausted after 16 days at sea, only to discover they were on the opposite side of the island to the whaling station. After a brief rest, Shackleton, Officer Don Crean and ship's captain Frank Worsley set off to cross the uncharted and almost impassable southern Alps and glaciers of South Georgia. The other three men camped in a cave where they had landed. After moving non-stop for almost 36 hours, Shackleton and his men were weak with thirst, hunger, exhaustion and exposure to cold weather when they finally spotted Stromness. To get there, they could either walk a further five miles or slide down on their bottoms, which is what they decided to do. Whee! When they arrived, they went to the manager's hut. They were unrecognisable until Shackleton said who he was. was. The men were able to have food, drink and a brief rest before rescuing the three men on the other side of South Georgia the following day. The Elephant Island rescue was more difficult due to poor weather and rough seas. Shackleton finally succeeded in reaching the men on Elephant Island on his fourth attempt just over four months after he'd left. Although he never achieved his mission to cross the Antarctic, Saving all of his men was a major triumph and he was a hail of the hero on return to Chile.